everything, my friends, everything, my friends, is perspective. At least for me it is. What you're looking at right there, guys, are some buildings that are in an area we call Brickle. Very close to what we would consider our downtown area. But I am filming from Southwest 8th Street, where we did a video, guys. We did a video over here. If you haven't seen that video, it's a walkthrough from 27th Avenue all the way to down to 13th Avenue, which is where we're at right now. So if you see here, and if you know the last video that we did over here on 8th Street, we ended it here on 13th Avenue. And uh, we did it at this um, memorial for the uh, Bay of Pigs. So there's a lot of roosters over here, guys. It was pretty cool at the end of last video. But what we are going to do is we're just going to go ahead and continue walking 8th Street. But instead of walking from here to those big buildings, we're going to put a GoPro on the car. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And then I want to get to the meat and potatoes, which is past the bridge so you can walk with me and I can explain the Brickell downtown area a little bit more precise. All right, let's go, guys. We got a nice little walk going. And we're off. We have the camera on. Obviously, you're seeing all this traffic coming from 8th Street, which is considered Calle Ocho over here. And this is 95, okay? North 95. Um, let me cross the street, guys. It is a little dicey around here. Now, we, once we cross this bridge, we're gonna see multiple things. And we're gonna start walking towards what we call Brickle. Brickle is basically a financial hub. You guys are gonna see things like what we just saw. You will see some areas and pockets of homeless people in this area. Um, what I will tell you is I have seen as of late, and it's not really a huge problem down here in South Florida, but it's, it is a problem. There is uh, some homeless people primarily under these overpasses. Wow. Um, now, it's a reality. If we go here to the left, you see that McDonald's is here to the far left? There's gonna be a park, and I've actually filmed on that park before. And right there is the Miami River, which we will walk. And you will see, um, if you can see in the backdrop over there, there's a bridge up right now and that's where the tugboat series happened and when i was on the tugboats that's what that's all about now stick around on the way back i'm going to show you guys what you guys normally see but i'm doing this unedited because i want you guys to see it for what it really is okay so these cars are going to be coming off of 95 here. All right. So this is it. You see how the, the cars are coming off of 95? 95 up there to the right is heading north. So we are just beginning to enter what we call Brickle. Um, now this area is primarily known like our financial center. A lot of young uh, millennials, young people have gravitated to this area because of the condos that have arisen within the last maybe 10 years. Um, a lot of big developers down here in South Florida that have built up this whole area. Um, actually, most of it uh, was at first rented and 
then Airbnbs, and now we're seeing a lot of people from places like New York and California, mostly New York, moving down to Miami and South Florida, and big Wall Street operations are moving to Palm Beach. That's right now at the time of this video, guys. You might see this video at another time, but here are the realities of what you can see and expect here in Miami. So the further we walk straight, the nicer it gets. And you will notice a couple of things um, as we walk. Now there's an area called Mary Brickle Village, which I will show you guys. Let me see if I can cross the street real quick. There's the bridge. So typically, typically when you're here in South Florida, you won't really be walking this area per se, but I'm just showing you what, what happens once we walk further down 8th Street. And uh, it's still considered 8th Street, which is also known as Tamiami Trail. And this goes back to what I was telling you guys earlier. Like for instance, this gas station is closed and it's closed because a lot of the development has been buying up all these smaller properties and building all these big high rises that we see above. Oh man, just running across the street. I'm, I'm going crazy. Look, the Starlight Motel has been purchased. All these areas and, and they've taken advantage They've taken advantage and they've used the pandemic to buy a property and build, you know? It gets much nicer than what we're seeing right now, guys. But I want you guys to make your own assessment and decisions based on what you see. Well, the reality is. And we're shooting this video in late January, 2021. More construction has happened here. You got some union protesting here. Um, okay, so I'll give you guys a backdrop. This right here is our transportation system which is what we call the Metro Rail. And here you have some buses that would take you through this area. Now, when you're here visiting from this side of the Metro Rail is where we would consider Brickle. It's like now things change a little bit more. You see it's, it's a little bit more of kept and these buildings here are relatively new. Uh, maybe within the last five years. So there's definitely been a lot of growth down here. We're right now on, uh, on still on 8th Street and 1st Avenue. I had told you guys in the past, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a quick left and then I'm gonna go back into the main area where I wanna show you guys because I, I do want you guys to see this because you've seen it probably on my channel when I film boats. Here, when you're in Brickell, one of the well-known bars that has been here for a long time is the Blackbird. Blackbird Ordinary, which is right here. And uh, I don't know what the rules are right now with the whole bar environment, with the pandemic, because I really don't frequent them, but uh, it looks like they're open. So this would be Blackbird. Now, here to our left, stick around, guys. This is the other way is where it gets really brickle, okay? But I, I want to show you this because you guys know this area and you guys know my channel. So I'm going to show you the Miami River real quick. 
so you guys can see and associate where I've actually filmed in the past. Now I'm assuming all these small buildings will get also bought out. We got Saks Fifth Avenue. This section has, uh, has as of late, um, had a lot of high end. Uh, hold on. Yeah. He saw me. Okay, as of, as of late, uh, a lot of high-end stores that are here, and this is basically what they're calling Brickle Center. Here, this will also get bought out at some point. It's crazy how all this is, is just transitioning and happening so fast. All right, guys, that is the Miami River. And we're eventually going to walk. We're going to take a nice little walk. So you guys are going to see. And you can determine things for yourself, okay? And what you're seeing there is a giant rib boat, guys. And it does not have a tube at the moment. It has it on the other side because it seems like they're retubing that boat. And since they're retubing it, all you need is essentially one side. So this is it. So this is the Miami River. And then you have also areas, I, I think they're calling it riverfront or they've been calling it riverfront for a while. But here it is. So when you see me doing the tugboat series, and those that didn't watch the actual video of the tugboat series, I encourage you to watch, it's a pretty cool video. We were going down the Miami River and they were pulling that huge, let's see if I can get over here. See that, all that is the Miami River. Now a little bit forward, a little bit forward here on the river is the mouth of the river. And that's where you're seeing a lot of the contents coming from guys like Alex AK from the Boat Zone and other channels that are filming out of it. I actually was the first one to do all this type of river videoing off the river and all that stuff so i'm glad those guys are continuing that whole process now we're still uh, in what we would consider brickle i'm going to make a right here and i'm going to take us down the whole section of brickle which i want you guys to see and you see right now this is look you got some areas here let's go through the sally here I wouldn't recommend you guys to go through alleys, but we're going back to city center, uh, Brickell Center, and all right. So, like I said, a lot of a lot of new millennials are coming from everywhere in the country, and they're starting to buy up some of the property that's here in the Brickell area. I'm gonna take you back through here. Uh, it might be a little walk. I don't wanna fast forward anything on the video, guys. I want you guys to see things for what it is, you know? And these are the lone wolves that actually have held on and not accepted all the offers that they've gotten from probably all these huge developers to buy their property off. Okay, so remember back here where we just made a ride is the Blackbird Ordinary Bar, which if you come and you wanna hang out in the area here in Mary Brickle, which is, we're gonna be passing it now. It's called Mary Brickle Village. It's just incredible how much construction. And you see how the construction is just going a little bit further in to 8th Street. All right, so we're gonna go back to where the Metro Rail was. And continue our walk, guys. 
Should be a cool video, should be pretty informative. Now, when you come over here, there's primarily, look, if you see over there, there's a sign that says American Social. That's a good bar and restaurant that's on the Miami River that you can have a nice good lunch on the river, which is right here. Um, All right, so I would say, here, I'm sorry, here's the, here's the Blackbird, ordinary. I would say pound for pound, within a five, six mile radius, this area has probably the most attractive people um, it, as far as quantity. Uh, young, attractive people that like to take care of themselves. You're gonna see a lot of that, especially, it's a little early right now, but it's an, it's an area that every time you're around it, you're like, okay, they dropped me off in Brickle, I can tell. And you have people that don't live in Brickle, they hang out in Brickle because they think there's a lot of money here. And since they think there's a lot of money here, you kind of wander and, you know, Hit up the spots, hit up the spots. You know, trying to hit the lotto, I guess. Now, eventually where that SunTrust building is to the very end, into the middle of the actual road here, there, there's water behind there. Let me cross. All right. So when we first started walking, this is where we turned to the left, kind of did a little semicircle, and here we are. We can get off the sidewalk so you guys can see a little bit what's going on here. So you see above there the metro rail. The metro rail will take you down all the way to South Dade and it'll drop you off as far as Hialeah. You got a boxing club here. Now when you, we walk in into this area, if you get off on the, on the metro rail here, there's obviously different names for the stops. They go one way north and one way south. Publix is kind of like our grocery store. It's very popular down here in South Florida. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk into an area which we consider Mary Brickle Village, which is also known as an area where people come because the nightlife is good, especially a lot of the locals. Guys, don't forget to smash that like. This is, like I said, this is kind of like the newer side of Miami uh, when it comes to a lot of new construction. And a lot of people like to come here um, because prior to the pandemic, you had a lot of food options. and You know, things are obviously changing a little bit now because, because of what's happened with the pandemic. But here is our first sign this shows Mary Brickle Village. And here it is. See that there? You got some raw juice bars. You got a subway. Nice little Tesla here. You got your mobile phone stores. You guys remember on YouTube a while back, there was a, there was a female doctor, young girl, just went ballistic on an Uber driver. 
if you haven't seen it, just type in Dr. Uh, goes crazy on Uber driver in Miami or something. She just started throwing all his things and I don't know, for some stupid reason, they came down on the poor girl like, like a bag, bag of rocks because, you know, the sense of entitlement was just so blatantly obvious in the video. And the poor driver, you know, was just watching his things get trashed. All right. So, Mary Brickle Village. This is definitely a place where I would tell you guys if you're in South Florida and you want to do some shopping, the shopping is a little bit of forward over there in Brickell uh, Center, but this is an area where you're going to want to come. It's early in the morning right now, so you will see people getting breakfast, but this is Mary Brickell Village. So what happens is all these surrounding buildings will come here um, to actually actually get lunch. You got a Starbucks right behind me. I'll show you guys that now. You have the Blue Martini. Very, very popular place to come hang out. And you also have other bars over here as well. Like I said, I do not know the status of some of these bars, but they are here. And these guys should all start being open in a little bit. Let me show you some of the areas that are probably starting to do the whole lunch bit. Okay, so here is one of the bars here. It's called Balance. And here it is. We have... Uh, Here's your Starbucks if you wanted to get a Starbucks. And uh, see, this is Miami living right here, guys. This is basically what it looks like, how it gets here, what's going on. Now, we're going to continue here, but I'm going to make a right because I want you guys to see. Oh boy. Now, there's some nightclubs. They used to be back here as well, on the other side. Give me a second, let me get out of this section. Wow, it seems like he's walking with me. All right, um, so Rosario nightclub, restaurant type atmosphere, you know, cool places here. If you see this rail here, this is what we would consider the metro mover. So this metro mover, we would get on this and it eventually connect to the metro rail, which will take you into multiple areas. The metro mover will take you to a lot of the places that are on downtown. Okay, and all around this area in the Brickle downtown area. And that's what the Metro Mover, that's the function of this Metro Mover and that's what it does. I'm going to make a right. I'm going to go back to the street that we were on, which is considered South Miami Avenue. We're going to come back this way over here and I'm going to continue walking so you guys can see the other parts of Brickle. Now, walking towards my um, Mary Brickle Village again, we're, and guys, this is just developing. I mean, it's incredible how fast this place has developed. We're coming up here on an old firehouse that ultimately transferred to being a restaurant but it was uh, a firehouse at the time. Which is this building here. All right, so back to Mary Brickle Village. So as you see, there's a lot of construction still going on, guys. Um, not too long ago, this was just 
a parking lot. All right, so the firehouse was here. Um, they actually named it the firehouse for a while um, when I was a kid, and it was a very popular nightclub. Imagine that place, you know, a bunch of young people just having a good time. And yours truly would hang out here when I would come hang out in this area of uh, Miami. You got a lot of dining over here. You got a lot of sushi places. Look, you got an oyster bar here. And a lot of good dining in this small little section of Brickle. And if you walk around, you can see more restaurants within these buildings. And if you want to look up some Airbnbs or hotels in this area, you definitely can look it up. All right, so South Miami Avenue, guys. So if you want to get a reference point on Google Maps and you're watching me on Google Maps, this is South Miami Avenue and Southwest 11th Street. If you want the exact address to where the Starbucks is and want to be dropped off on an Uber, you tell them, I want to go to 901 South Miami Avenue. And that's where it'll be. Um, I'm not gonna continue here, uh, walking through here. Like I said, more buildings. This is also still the Metro Mover. You see how it lines up to the Metro Rail. So technically, if you wanted to come and do all this um, on in using public transportation, es essentially you could. It'll definitely be a considerable time uh, as far as how long it'll take, but it, it is uh, doable. Another sushi store over there. I'm gonna walk you guys now through. Um, oh, there you go. There's the Metro Mover, so you guys can see the Metro Mover. Here you got a Latin cafe if you wanna get some uh, colada, which I'm sure I will hit up in a little bit. to go ahead and get my Cuban colada fix for the day. I know some of you guys wanna know what the cost is for the public transportation. I don't really know at this moment, but it's not more than like two and a half bucks or something like that. You can, I'm sure you guys can look it up. Now, once I make, we got, we got Brickle City Center coming back up. So I want to show you guys that area real quick. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come back to this little section here uh, to show you guys where our financial district is. And then you have a whole row of high rises along that area as well. Okay, you see how the sign says, Mary Brickle Village. Now, this is the backside of Mary Brickle Village. So don't be surprised because the road is one way. If an Uber driver or a taxi driver brings you along this route through back here, because essentially it's the same place. But since it's one way, sometimes they can't drop you off on the other side. Uh, well, you know what, I might be mis misspeaking about that. Uh, let me see, let me confirm it's one way. Uh, okay, back to, I'm gonna go to this side here because you guys just saw. I think you have uh, FedEx Kinko's here or FedEx office, it used to be FedEx Kinko's. You got a Shake Shack. Oh boy, I wouldn't mind hitting up one of those burgers. Those, those guys making a fantastic burger, guy. Really, really good burger. So if you like burgers, definitely that's a good place to go. All right, heading back towards Brickle City Center. Oh look, 
bring some rackets. You want to play, uh, bring some rackets and a ball. I think uh, you would have to get your own racket and a ball. I'm filming out here. Thank you. So, we're continuing. You have a PF Changs here. And off we go. Look at all the construction guys. Cranes everywhere. Okay. Yeah, it is, it is one way. Yeah, that, that was right. Now, like I was telling you guys, in the last five years or so, so none of this area was here. It's, it's gone up pretty fast. This area over here, well, past Mary Brickle. Mary Brickle was always there, but this has all been growing exponentially within the last five years. So much so that I would say, wow, they're making all these places down in Miami. Who's gonna fill all these things? Now we know. All the New Yorkers that have left New York. Okay, here's the SLS uh, Lux. There's also a bar there. Hey, maybe you don't want to spend a lot of money. You got a Burger King here. And back to 8th Street. And I'm going to run and cross with these people. All right, so that's, that's 8th Street again. Now remember, the heart of Brickos to the right over there that way. But I'm going to take a quick roundabout through this area so you guys can see some of the stores that are here. You got an Apple store here. Chanel up there. We saw the sign that says Saks Fifth Avenue. Sephora. So a lot of things happening in this area as far as doing shopping. So if you come out and hang out in this area, you'll definitely have some shopping options all throughout this area. So it's a mall, see? But it's a high-end mall. Don't think this is like a little Mickey Mouse mall. This is a high-end outdoor mall. So. You guys better be smashing those like buttons, dude. All right. So, you get it. There's a mall, there's a mall here. Uh, sports bar up there. And we continue. So, same thing on the other side as well. Bet you guys didn't know this was in Miami. Yeah? This is, like I said, guys, this is pretty new for the last three to five years. Now, in that area over here, you have the bridge, and across that bridge, you have an area, it's called Riverfront, and all those places over there are a lot of the condos that were not here. So a lot of the people bought across on the Riverfront area, because they wanted to be in this area and they end up grabbing an Uber and they end up coming here. But now, now you have the option of having all of this here. So, safe area. Look at this little, I don't even know what, what this is, but it looks pretty cool. All right, I'm definitely not gonna walk the entire mall, but I do want you guys to see it, all right? So this is called City Center in Brickell. So you would tell your Uber driver, your cab driver, Brickell, City Center, or if you want, tell them Mary Brickell Village. Mary Brickell Village is where the Starbucks was, and the address there is 901 South Miami Avenue. All right, back to the walk. 
the walk, the talk, and the chit show. I got new underwear today, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna have an ass rash today, baby. I'm on a, I'm on a tear. Going against those cotton underwear. Baby, I got some gold bond on. I'm ready to roll. Don't play with me. My ass ain't, we ain't gonna take this anymore. I was, I was burning up, guys. All right, so, I don't know, anybody could read uh, Japanese? I'm assuming it's a sushi restaurant. So this is the East, which I would say is a condo. Hey, is there a hotel in here or is it just a condo? It's a hotel. Hotel, what, what is it called? East. East, that's it? All right, guys, it's actually a hotel called the East. It's new to me. Hello. All right. There's a metro mover. Now, get, get ready. Because I'm already seeing a place in the backdrop that you guys probably won't see with the camera because it doesn't have that much zoom right now. I am using a wide angle lens. Back there to the very end of the street, there's a big building and that building is a hotel. It's an exclusive hotel that's been a five diamond property for many, many years. I don't know if it's a five diamond property right now, but it's definitely a very desirable, safe place to stay. And that is the Mandarin Oriental. The Mandarin Oriental is in Brickell, but it's in a section called, I think it's called Brickell Key. I, 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 guys, I, I just keep on forgetting the names of everything. The older I get, I don't know if it happens to you. The, I just don't care. So I don't like, I, I don't store it in my brain as much. Um, so there is a, a gated community in there and there's also condos in there as well. And I, I'm sure we'll get the name now. All right, so here it is. Now we're getting to Brickell Avenue. And then you have, like I said, this little island here. And then you have all of the area in Brickell where a lot of condos are, but there's also a lot of, um, I guess this is why they call it the financial district of Miami. It's much nicer than downtown. As soon as we cross the bridge inside to downtown, guys, you're gonna see from Brickell to downtown, it's, it gets a lot rougher, per se, you know? So, Brickle Avenue will take us all the way to a road called US-1, and US-1 will, all right, let me continue the walk this way. Okay, back there, you guys, remember back there, you have the Mandarin Oriental. So you guys get, situated where you're at. True Lux, uh, here, really known restaurant, been here many, many years. And we are walking. Now back here, remember, you see back here all those buildings? All those buildings, there's a Marriott, a Conrad, the Four Seasons, it's all within this one strip so keep that in mind i'm showing you the areas where you're probably going to be but at the same time you can get a better understanding when you actually pick your hotel you're like hey i saw that video on that crazy cubans channel alfred montaner the king of hallover and uh it was pretty cool now coming up here you also have more Restaurants here, Fleming's, uh, Prime uh, Steakhouse and Wine Bar. And this will take you also back to city center. And I'm going to cross. We're crossing, we're crossing. We're running, we're running, we're running. All right. All right, so now this skyline and this backdrop 
should look somewhat familiar to a lot of you guys because there's a lot of drone footage that is shot in this area. Probably coming up one of the most known hotel condos is coming up right now. They have a W in there. And uh, I'll tell you right now what's here. This church, First Presbyterian Church behind here, which we will go back there now in a minute, because I want you guys to see the backside of this area because it's really pretty. Brickle, guys, this is Brickle. Okay, so. More condos that have gone up as of late. And then here is a condo hotel that uh, has an incredible pool. A lot of young people live in this area, guys. A lot of partying. Um, what is this place called again? Oh, the Icon, that's what it is. Okay. Here's a small, small park. You know, you got a famous developer by the name of George Perez that I believe built this uh, building and a lot of buildings in this uh, area, to be honest with you. Now, we are about to cross the bridge. You guys are going to recognize this right here. Those that watch my channel. All right. All right, so we're here at the W. Or what we would better have known as the Icon. Very, very, very good place to stay. Good location. And I'll explain to you why in a minute. And we're crossing the bridge that is on the mouth of the Miami River. So when I would film, and I still, I'm gonna come here every now and then, but Alex AK from the Boat Zone has really brought out fantastic videos from this section right here of Miami, which is, all right, here's, the residence part of the hotel. Let me slowly pan up so you guys can see. Pretty cool, huh? This building on the way up while I was filming, I would, I would get so annoyed by it. It was so annoying. Hopefully, hopefully the guys from Hempstead Marine show up. Maybe we can see them open up the actual bridge and we can showcase that a little bit. Now, do, does this backdrop look familiar, guys? Yes, it does. And if it does, you guys have earned yourself the moment to see where all the Miami River content is flowing from. So when you see a river video, they're standing right here, which is an area called the Miami Circle. Uh, big debate back in the days they did not want any construction here in the Miami Circle because they found, I think, indigenous um, fossils and stuff like that. And uh, I guess you guys can type in below and Google it, but this is it, guys. See here? Memorializing the symbolic nature of the, of the space. Okay, all right, We're, I'm gonna keep the camera really still so you guys can see something. You see in the backdrop, you see the cruises? Okay, those cruises are at the Port of Miami and there's, there's like three of them I can see. And then those cruises are along a street called, a causeway called the MacArthur Causeway. And the MacArthur Causeway leads us to that 
street called Fifth Street, which if you've been watching my other videos of South Beach, that's where it leads to. When I did the video of the tugboat series, we actually turned the big cargo ship in that basin over there. When you see all the beautiful women that Alex 8K is zooming in on, this is where he's filming most of these. Okay, so we are continuing the walk. We are continuing the talk. Let's continue. Um, pretty area still. Now, this is going to have to be its own video at some point, but we're, we're going to start it at, at this point a little bit, and then we're going to continue on another video from here. Now, once we cross this bridge right here, guys, which is on uh, Biscayne 4th, Southeast 4th and uh, Biscayne Way, all right, let me get past here so I can show you guys where we're at. Because if I go straight, we're gonna start getting into what we would consider downtown. You got the Hyatt Regency right here, which is this building here. And this is, for me, the most iconic, most Miami building there is for me because it's been here the longest and it was the one that was just so you know differently thinking it was just different different technology and, and construction at the time and it's been here a long time guys it's had multiple names it's called the uh, city national bank building now maybe it was called that before I don't know comment below you got uh, rentals of lime like lime bikes polluting the sidewalks and here's one of the JW Marriott Marquis there's another one that's not too far so make sure you get the right one now you're still you're you're, you're in downtown area now but you're hugging it's like you're holding on to Brickle. So then, because this is area that was, was still undeveloped, so they developed it. And uh, here's another great place to stay if you wanted to come. And where you see most of those people that are getting zoomed in on when they're here uh, is through the Epic. And that's the Epic Hotel and Residences. See, I'll try to see if I can show you guys what it looks like so you guys can see. Now, I'm sure if you stay far up in this particular hotel, you'll see, depending on your room, the skyline of Miami, you'll see the bay, Biscayne Bay, very pretty, um, very nice scenic views. Back here is the W that we had just recently passed and the icon and back to the Miami River so you see when you're seeing people getting loaded on you see them okay that's the Miami circle once again and here are the now most of the times <laughs> you guys are seeing ladies over here just mind their own business and then these guys on the and I'm guilty of it too guys will zoom in and be like hey hello say hello to my so many subscribers so I don't know it's much like if you guys know any of the okay so this is a private marina and like I said if you wanted to stay here you're very close to a lot of dining. You're very close to Mary Brickle Village. And you're essentially in the heart of downtown. Now we continue. 
because I'm gonna hit up the coast. Now, everything I walk now to the right is, a is essentially gonna be the coast. Um, told you guys, it's gonna be a long video. But, it gives you guys a whole deal of perspective. Now, we continue walking forward. We get into the nitty gritty of, um, I was gonna say South Beach, not South Beach, of downtown. Like I said, it's, it's, it's coming along a long way. It's coming along a long way. And uh, it's, Miami has cleaned up a lot. It was really never a really dirty city, to be honest with you. I've been in some dirty cities. Um, it's just the exponential growth that's been happening down here in South Florida is crazy. Because first of all, um, for those of you guys watching from other parts of the country, I don't know what that's about, but maybe I need a hard hat. Yeah, that's probably what it was. The hard hat area um, so yeah what, what I was saying is for those of you guys that are not from the states Florida does not have an income tax on a state level obviously we get tax on a federal level so it makes living in South Florida and Florida very attractive because first of all you're not getting taxed on a state level and at the same time you're taking advantage of this beautiful climate that we have which is essentially very warm and uh, sometimes it could be a little too warm but um, the good thing is that we have AC for that right now coming up when we have oh look there's a boat coming in when we have our New Year's festivities in places like New York you have the ball drop in New York we have a giant orange uh, <laughs> that comes out of this building coming up. Uh, also a very iconic building. It's been here many, many years. See what little center console's coming through. All right, so. All right, guys, so here we are, same area. Now, this is kind of like a public walking area, which will eventually lead us to Bayfront Park, and it'll also lead us to a place that's probably the most visited place in all of Miami, which is considered Bayside. And I did a video of the docks at Bayside and uh, I also went on the Hurricane, which is a, a boat that actually takes you along these waters and shows you some of the cool places that you want to see. You see that metro rail over there, guys? If I wanted to avoid all this walking, I could have. I could have avoided all this walking and I could have just taken the metro mover, which is up there. And because of the whole pandemic, I'm just not comfortable being in such a confined space with people so i minimize my risk i'll take an uber you know hold my breath for about three minutes and get back to my car okay so here's downtown we're walking along the coast of downtown oh this video is getting long guys but we're, we're walking the coast the next video we're gonna go and walk is inside the heart of downtown so you guys can see what it looks like in there. So we're gonna end up walking to Bayfront, Bayside, and uh, in the process we'll see where the Miami Heat play. We'll see the Freedom Tower, which are all really, place, really nice places. Now, along this sidewalk, if I keep on walking, keep on walking, eventually it's gonna lead me to an overpass, which I would make a right, and that's gonna lead me to the MacArthur Causeway, which 
takes me to South Beach. So if I really wanted to, it'll probably take me another hour and a half, but I can walk from here back to South Beach. And uh, now do I want to walk that much? Probably not, um, but, it, but it could be done. So here's where the ball drops on this particular building. I love doing these videos for you guys because I'm only going to do them once. Um, but it does give you guys a perspective of the city I'm really proud of because this is where I was born and raised, guys. So I have a lot of history um, about the city. So those of you guys that like to party, this year it's not happening, but you have the, what's it called? The, it's an electronics art festival. What is it called? Oh, shoot. Comment below, guys. You know what I mean. Ultra, ultra, ultra. That's what it is. It happens right here. And this is the Intercontinental where you can go ahead and see the ball drop. And also they have uh, some cool light shows now lighting up, I think, on that one, if I'm not mistaken. All right. So, see, there's a big uh, boat over there, the Seafair. Also a big ship or a big yacht that you can get on. And here is downtown as well metro mover now ah, i might risk i might risk torona only because i don't want to walk see what i'll do is i'll take that metro mover back to the mary brickle village exit and then i can walk to where i park my car Now these areas, guys, like here, like where I'm walking, I wouldn't say it's, yeah, I would probably rather you not walk it at night. During the day, you have no issues here at all. But it's, it's, it's such a big area and such a vast area. I don't recommend being alone out here at night, you know? So back here, we have more of the area of the park which is, like I said, Bayfront Park. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, walk because I, th I think, I think I might be getting a little numbness, butt cheek number right, <laughs> but butt cheek uh, number one over here on the right side. Guys always making a scene. All right, when they have the Formula One racing, I don't know if they're still doing that stuff, but this is where they would do it. And on these streets right here. So they close them off and they do it in this area here. You guys see the park? You see the water in the backdrop? You see some open areas and then you have the Port of Miami right over there. And now we, we're coming on, on the world famous Bayside Marketplace, which is going to happen in about maybe five minutes or so. But yeah, definitely a lot of memories through here. I remember when these buildings, like coming off of the expressway, we would get off and there would be a gas station up here to the left. And we would always, as friends, be like, hey, you got enough quarters? Why? Because <laughs> that's where the, the people that were homeless, unfortunately, were asking you for quarters. Not just homeless, people that, you know, were really caught up on drugs. But all that stuff has gone away because those big buildings came and those people are no longer there. So now you'll still see pockets of homelessness in downtown Miami which I would say the majority of our homeless population is 
concentrated within, you know, a good five mile radius within the, the and it's not nothing compared to, nothing compared to a lot of places in the U.S. Um, I, and I think, I think that has to do because they just, look, look for instance, there's somebody sleeping here. That's a reality. I'm not trying to hide nothing from you guys. But it's not like I went to Los Angeles. I, I couldn't believe. I couldn't. Be, I couldn't believe. I still can't believe the the level of homelessness that I saw when I went to Los Angeles. So, okay. So you see that white building in the backdrop? That is the world famous Miami Arena, um, Airlines Arena. Um, and that's where the Miami Heat play. And there's obviously events. So here is some public parking in the, in the center here. You got some hotels here. You got the EV or IV, um, popular hotel in this area. And if you see over there, you got the Freedom Tower, which is that older looking building. And it's, we're getting there guys. See, this is, where Bayfront is. Well, I can't believe I walked from the beginning of Calle Ocho over here for you guys. I'm actually doing it because I'm trying to do some way, guys. But I don't know. Along the way while I'm doing these videos, I'm like, wow, that sandwich from this store would be incredible. Let me shut down the camera. Let me go ahead and have one. And eventually I'm going to do a very good video of that as well of all the cool dining places we can do so somebody just asked me for five bucks but uh yeah it's uh, it's cool guys see i think listen if i wanted to i can do a promotional video and just show all the good stuff right and you're like come over here but you don't really know what to expect and then you're almost fed a narrative that you don't really believe so having that said we're about to get to Bayside all right so as we go here to Bayside, when you come in, this is where you would come in by. This is where your taxi or like the big bus Miami looks like it comes out of here. MiamiTours.com looks like it comes out of here. I'm going to bring you guys through the very entrance and I'm going to keep on walking because this is where we're going to essentially end this video. In, uh, in Bayside. I'm going to let you guys see inside there because you can see where a lot, this is the most transited area of all of Miami. Most, most people come here. Um, it's a little dated, but if you wanted to get some cool tours on the water, like the Thriller, I'll put a link to that video, which was really, really cool. You have a bunch of other videos that I've done on the docks, kind of showing all the other. Here's your, you got the Freedom Tower up there as well. I'm back again, and this is it, guys. And one of the reasons we know where our Bayside, those iconic, iconic flags that have always been there. So, and welcome to Bayside Marketplace. Let me go through here. It's around 10.30 in the morning right now. So you guys, 10.30, maybe going around 10.45. When I was, <laughs> wait, where, where was I sitting? When I got chitted on. Yes, I got chitted on over here by a bird. And it was right here. Um, this is where I, where I sat over here in this corner to wipe my shit off my bag it's 
It's a nice little walking tour. Um, the Thriller, that's where you can get some tickets. Here's where I was sitting, guys. I was sitting right here, licking my wounds with... So, um, you got some restaurants here, the Hooters. Um, I don't know if the Hooters is open currently, but it used to be here. And then you have all these restaurants here. See all the restaurants? And now they're shopping here as well. Over here, guys. See all the shopping places and you see? So little trinkets and things and very popular area. And it's all open. Hello. See, hats. So, you know, it's very unique to this area. Um, different stuff. You, now, let's go back to, to where you would see the boats. You got odd dining options here. You also have the Hard Rock Cafe, which is here. And you can eat here. And here are the cruises and cruise ships that you guys can take. Dude, I can't believe I walked all the way over here. Look at the world famous hurricane. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see the hurricane, which is one of the ones that I definitely would recommend that you guys get on, right? You got all those things. And if you want to see this entire dock from front to back, I also have a video on the same playlist, which I'm putting all my tourism videos. You can check them out there. So many videos have happened here, guys, that I've done my ox diesel video that I started. Um, you have, look, you have a bar here. You have multiple bars here. You also have a big food court up there. Um, and then something that's new, which I actually went on, was a big giant Ferris wheel. That is, the view is incredible. What's up, buddy? When's the, when's the hurricane and the thriller going out? Tomorrow, Saturday. All right. All right. And here it is. How crazy. How many people love that video? A lot. Wasn't it cool? Yes, it was. I'm actually doing a video. I just walked from 8th Street and I'm walking this whole area and I'm in from, from Calle Ocho, okay. from where 95 is, yes. all the way over here showing Mary Brickle and all that stuff. And then I'm showing them how much, how many things they can see. And we're ending the video here at Bayside and I'm talking about the hurricane and the thriller. Well, listen, um, where can they go online to check out more inf information on the Thriller? ThrillerMiami.com. ThrillerMiami.com, guys. It was an awesome, epic tour video. Thank you so much. Tell the guys I said hello. You see? And this is what we were on right here. And then you have the Thriller that's currently out. You want to get some daiquiris and stuff? You can, guys. Everything's a little different, though. You know? It's just... A little different. Let me go run, run, run. Oh, Sinatra's gonna kill my video. No, anything but Sinatra. I mean, if my video's gonna go get demonetized, it should be somebody that's alive, right? <laughs> so, and then once again, the Hard Rock. And if you see those big cruise ships in the backdrop, those are the ones that are hanging out on the port. These will start opening up now when people start, you know, starting their day. A lot of people have late breakfasts and they end up coming this way, so. And here's the first wheel that I was telling you guys about. Yeah, some of you guys are asking, well, why don't you do it, the videos, later in the day and you show more people. Guys, I mean, I don't know if you've heard, but I don't want to be around hundred thousand people you know remember I'm I'm doing this all the time so I got to minimize my risk so that's why I don't do them in peak hours there it is here you also have 
a steakhouse here called The Knife, an Argentinian steakhouse. And here is the Hard Rock Cafe. This used to be called Planet Hollywood when uh, Bruce Willis and those guys ended up getting a whole team of people to go ahead and invest on a venture. And that's what it was. It was Planet Hollywood and then it became the Hard Rock. And there it is, guys. This is my city. And there it is, guys. Now, this would be basically the basin. Oh, look, look at the thriller there. You see that big thing of water? That big uh, fishtail that's happening right there? That's the thriller coming back. We'll go ahead and end the, the video with them coming in. Now, okay. For those of you guys that just finished watching my other video in South Beach that I did, I did a video in South Beach and what did I show? I showed South Point Park. If we go straight, all the way straight to where the land ends, that is South Point Park and that is government cut there all the way to the end to the left. So beautiful views over here guys, definitely enjoyed this tour of essentially Brickell. We walked all this area and uh, there it is. Now there's also boats in this little marina too that people dock. Now you have this bridge here. On the other side of this bridge is the Venetian Causeway. And then if we go down the intercoastal here, if we go here from, from here all the way down this intercoastal, all the way th through through the intercoastal it'll take us to Hallover. it'll eventually get us to Hallover. so and at some point it'll be my goal to show you guys that as well so let's see if we can see some of these boats here while we're here and uh we'll wrap this video up pretty cool pretty cool video um like i said guys i hope that these videos inspire you guys to kind of do something similar to where you're from, especially, you know, because there's a lot of people like you and me that want to see all this stuff and get some information along the way. There's some of the tourists, but let's go to the docks so you guys can see a little bit of the other side of the dock that you guys hadn't seen. So if you wanted to have some outdoor seating, take some pictures. Remember guys, 2021, this is what you're really gonna expect. You wanna take a picture there, right here, and have this backdrop here. Beautiful. Wow, this is uh, a lot shorter video than I thought. Oh, this is kind of cool. I haven't seen this guy. Spirit del Sol, right? Probably takes you somewhere, lets you jump in the water. You got the hurricane in the backdrop. And uh, here is basically the docks. Oh, I see a rolled up uh, inflatable. These docks are gonna be locked, but We'll see one of the pirate ships that are here that normally go out as well. Okay, so that bridge, all right. <laughs> Let's take you guys back. So you see the Miami Arena, the Freedom Tower is that, you know, older looking building that's very, very narrow. But hold on. Let me show you. 
Oh boy, I'm definitely gonna get an Uber back. There's no way I'm walking all this back. I don't wanna lose that much weight. I wanna lose weight, but I don't wanna disappear either, you know? There's nothing worse than being skinny fat, right? You're still, you're still fat, but you're skinny at the same time, but you're looking all flabby and weird. I don't want that. Can't have that. All right, so this is the bridge that leads to South Beach. More yachts. Now you have a couple of um, really good museums also here. Um, Wait, you know what? I'm, I actually misspoke. This is the bridge that leads to the port. The one in the backdrop is the bridge that leads you to South Beach. But this actual bridge, it starts off at the Airlines Arena, which definitely you don't want to go to the port because you're going to get stopped by tons of security. Uh, unless you actually have a you know, a cruise ship. Uh, but this is it, guys. This is as far as we can go. All right, so not this bridge, the following bridge in the backdrop. That's the MacArthur Causeway. It leads there, it turns to the right. Eventually, it'll take you down the MacArthur where the cruise ships are. And then you can, guys can see everything else. Well, I, uh, I think I'm done for the day, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash that like. We're gonna do more of these touring videos. I encourage you to see the prior video so you kind of see, I'm trying to link up everything from where I end to where I begin again. So do that. Uh, my name is Alfred Montana, the King of Hot Over. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share this information if you know somebody's going to Miami. And I have a whole playlist of this whole area. So I'm out of here, I'm tired. I'm out of here, bye. <laughs> Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do.